Hello, Pastor Steve Waldron, New Life Pentecostal Church, Albany, Georgia. I pray you're having a great day in Jesus. Amen. I'm going to try to answer one of the most asked questions here on the New Life channel, and that's why do I review uh, Bible, study Bibles, Bible translations that are not King James, since anybody that watches this any length of time knows that I'm very much a King James traditional Bible text fan, Reformation Bible text, whether it's Luther, Diodate, Olivet, and whoever it is. Well, I'll try to answer that. First of all, a little bit of my background. When I graduated from Bible college at 21, I went to work at Berean Christian Stores. Did about $2 million a year. It was the largest Christian bookstore in the state of Georgia to our knowledge. This would have been late 80s, early 90s. And as part of that, I had the privilege of working in the Bible department with Gene and Betty Ross were the managers, wonderful people, Alva Bennett, Joy Christian, so many great people that I knew there, Ken Strickland, Ken and Barbie, and uh, just good folks. Sister Waldron worked there for a good while, Sandy, my wife. And so selling Bibles, you know, I quickly learned to sell, even if I was a King James guy, I sold every type of Bible uh, that was there, just trying to give people what they desired, what they wanted. And the reason for that is, is I think that uh, mostly correct Bibles are better than no Bibles at all. You know, I would say King James would be the standard in the English speaking language. And then, you know, New King James probably be next and then some other ones in the spectrum there. But I would say, well, you know, you can get saved out of all of them. The message of the gospel is in all of them. Some of the nuances and specificities may be lacking, missing, or weakened uh, to large degrees in them. And so that's a little bit of my background. Secondly, though, is so much of what I do with study Bibles is the study notes themselves. And so I, I liken it to a Charles Swindoll book, a Charles Stanley book, a John MacArthur book, that I may use their commentaries or some Greek commentary somewhere or something that I may disagree with the translation, but I can get a lot out of the notes and their learning and those type things. You know, and there may even be a third reason in that as well um, to show people that, you know, King James Bible believers can love everybody, care about everybody, respect everybody, respect everybody's opinions, even though we would disagree or maybe strongly disagree on conclusions of different things. And also, you know, sometimes if you, I remember Matt Drudge many years ago, I don't know exactly how many years ago, he spoke of what he called the ghettoization of the internet. And what that is, is people get into sounding boards that the way algorithms are written for the most part on the internet, most of the major platforms, is things you like, it feeds you more of what you like. So you end up just self-reinforcing um, your belief systems. And so not only was my pastor a doctor, such a, a tremendous man, worldwide missionary, had this huge perspective of things, but then working at Berean Christian stores and literally everything in the whatever brand of churchianity, Christianity, no matter how broad that term is, even not biblical, maybe in, in a lot of cases or something, that you still dealt with them. You still had some sort of unanimity that you believed, well, in most cases, Jesus was God. But I mean, we dealt with people that were Muslim and Hindu and different people just want to come buy a Bible or, or find a book because we had a huge book section and uh, those type things. And so you just learn to deal with people. And, and I, I think I personally have learned valuable things. I've made some creation science videos that the rebuttals have gotten many, many times, sometimes maybe a hundred times, the views that the initial video got. And a lot of the responses have been very hateful and, and mean and not thinking and 
body shaming and just all kinds of horrible stuff. But it's some of the ones I, I appreciate learning people's perspectives on what they think because it helps me to try to reach them. My goal is to reach people with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so when I review something with a translation that I might would disagree with, I feel like that there's people out there that are honest hearted that may say, well, you know what? I'm not just going to be in my normal uh standard of things i'm going to listen to what he has to say and it may even help convert them to certain viewpoints and so i've got many reasons why i do it. it's just me and i do understand why people don't do those type things i mean you got paul on mars hill quoting pagan poets he did it again in first uh, corinthians 15 he did it again in titus chapter one and so uh, you know, my pastor was just real big on being well read. And then um, in apologetics, I, I went with the Thomas Aquinas uh, viewpoint of knowing what your uh, people that disagree with you, knowing what they believe even better than what they how they believe it. I've given so many people in here that disagree with me arguments that they didn't even know existed against me. But I obviously know how to counteract those arguments as well. But they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. And so that's why I review, like study Bibles, for instance, that aren't in uh, the King James Version, the Bible. And uh, I, But now I know other people have a ministry that just would do that. They're just King James, that's all. And they just wouldn't say, I've got a good friend of mine who tells me constantly. He says, I don't even have another translation in my house but the King James Version of the Bible. That's okay. That's his walk with the Lord. That's where he's at. And uh, this is where I'm at. And so it would be, we have in one sense, overarching the same ministry to reach the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. On another sense, that uh, we would have nuances within that ministry, just like everybody wasn't Paul and everybody wasn't Peter and you know, even Paul said he was, uh, you know, preaching the gospel to the Gentiles, Peter to the Jews, even though it was just one gospel saying one Lord, one faith, one baptism. It was just their ministries. And there's different ministries in the body of Christ. Like there's liver, liver and eyes and kidney and nose and teeth and gastric acid. Everything, you know, makes up the body of Christ. Colons in the body of Christ. But, but it, we're all necessary. And so that's why, in case you ever wondered, and I know not everybody's going to agree with me, and I understand that. So God bless. We love you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share on social media, join us every day. Talk with you later in Jesus' name.